Hey, this is Superheroes Den 1, just logging on tonight to do a quick uh, movie review on a movie that I saw um, with my son and a friend of mine. Um, we went to uh, Ghost Rider, uh, the, spirit, or the Spirit of Vengeance. Um, I really don't know what to say about this movie. Uh, it was from the directors of Crank. Um, it seemed to be just like the Crank movies in a way. Um, uh, there just really was no in-between with it. Um, it was pretty typical on what was going to happen. Special effects were awesome. I have nothing bad to say about the special effects on Ghost Rider and whatnot. But some of, uh, the casting decisions and the, uh, script writers, it seemed like it was really, really bad. Um, and the acting was horrid. Um... It's one of these movies I wouldn't suggest anybody to watch um, until it came out like on uh, Redbox or whatever. Pick it up for a dollar or something. Um, definitely not a theater worthy film. Um, for one, uh, it was about Ghost Rider having to uh, save this uh, child that was uh, the child of uh, Lucifer or Satan or whatever and he needed the body of this child so um and this child was supposed to be the supreme uh, being or whatever and I don't know it just didn't seem and he was supposed to have like all the abilities Satan did um I I don't know, and this kid kept on getting himself in trouble. This kid should have been able to take care of himself, you'd think, with those abilities. Um, he should have just, because the people that were after him were normal human beings. It wasn't until later that Satan turned one of the uh, people into, like, this uh, guy that was able to rot and, or pretty much rot out stuff. And, uh, I don't know. To me, the special effects were awesome, but it was lacking a lot of story. Um, I just was bored halfway through the damn movie. It was it was absolutely terrible. It was garbage. Um, I can't believe uh, Hollywood actually let that go. Um, I, I can't believe Marvel let it go, to be honest with you. I can believe Hollywood let it go. Um, but Marvel Comics to throw out a piece of shit movie like that is terrible. The only good thing that I saw out of that whole movie was the trailer of, uh, Spider-Man <laughs> for the, uh, Spider the new Amazing Spider-Man movie. That was the only good thing I've seen out of that whole movie. So, I don't know. I thought it was terrible. Uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on what you thought of it. Um, I would suggest to anybody, I give this movie probably about, uh, oh god, a zero, uh, if it was even on the ranking. Well, no, I give it a one because uh, I guess the special effects were good. So, you can't judge the whole movie because of the. I thought the special effects were awesome, like on his jacket and stuff. It was bubbling from the uh, heat that uh, Ghost Rider was radiating through the fire inside of him. So it was kind of neat. He had like bubbles coming out of his suit and it was really gritty. And I thought the skull was cool. And, but and all the special effects, I like how they introduced where it wasn't only the bike that had the ability. It was other vehicles that he touched that would have the ability of the Ghost Rider. So that was kind of interesting. Um, so there was good things in the special effects, but there was a really crappy story. Um, it was just horrid. Uh, they had uh, the guy from Highlander in there, and the guy that played Raiden, uh, Christopher Lambert, was in there. He was supposed to be this priest or whatever. It was, oh my god, it was terrible. And, uh, Nicolas Cage's acting was horrid. I, oh my god. Just when he turned into the Ghost Rider, 
he oh man it was terrible I I I don't even know what to say about it if halfway through the movie I had to go take a sh you know what into the toilet and it the toilet looked better than that movie so when it comes down to it um, my uh, view for this movie is a one so uh, superheroes den one I'm out for the night have a great night